Greetings, golden winged ones of our great central angelic legion of the 144. Happy new moon in Leo. We also have the sun in Leo giving us double the fiery energy of our royal lion nation of the new Lemuria. Jupiter also goes retrograde today at 8 degrees of Aries as the acceleration of expansion continues through our ascension. This is the timeline of planetary liberation as we free Gaia and all her children from the false projections and air interference patterns keeping the planet's vibration and a lower resonance of frequency. We assist the Divine Mother Goddess in her ascension with our higher vibrations and keeping the faith in our visions of the new heaven upon the new earth. All things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha. Nothing to resist only to realize our true nature of infinite light and intrinsic emptiness. The quantum field is coming into higher resonance with the universal patterns of the harmony of the spheres. Through the stillness we return to the innocence of our pure awareness and bridge the two shores of heaven and earth to create the final omega point of the exodus from the matrix into the pure land of enlightenment. It is the time to take the leap of faith into the unknown with the winds of change and make due course to the lands of paradise forevermore. We continue to rise in the light of the dawning of the new golden age of eternal life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 10 degrees, 30 minutes Leo. The sun is at 6 degrees, 2 minutes Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 7 degrees Leo. The constellation of stars in the sky. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 11 degrees Leo, 711. Children on a swing in a huge oak tree. From astrologyweekly.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Update. Your personal timeline, that is new data, people, places, can ground at any time. It's a frequency, not linear time. Reevaluate. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Quana Michaela. The new earth is crystal frequencies, rainbow diamond light codes, ascension of humanity, the planet, to organic higher existence. We are solar. We are sovereign. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. New Moon in Leo, July 28th. Today is the new moon under the sign of the lion, lioness, as we enter the powerful vortex of the annual lion's gate. The new moon invites us to be gentle with ourselves at this time, rest, be in the void for a while, and plant the seeds of the new. What will you create in the cycle of creativity and manifestation? This is the moment when you activate the magician within and wave your magic wand and say, I create and so it is. May all your creations bring you joy. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Pars Kute, Mega Update 28-7-2022, Planetary Liberation Unstoppable. We are in these magical times right now that our higher selves and our innate and our consciousness are the three human energies that need to meld. Our human consciousness, our higher selves, and our innate when DNA starts to work at a higher efficiency. There are bridges that start to be built between these things and we will start to feel them. When we recognize and sense truth, when we start to recognize discernment and cognize it for what it is, when we stop looking around us for answers, 
They come from within. When we put down this nonsense of those who would tell us that we were born dirty and that there are societies trying to control us or that everywhere we look there is a conspiracy against us and we start understanding the truth that we are a piece of God's source on this planet and we are smarter than that because we can discern what is and what is not happening. We become smarter when the two brains come together and we are able then to see our own health situation to catch things before they get out of hand. To know what we need to know, how we need to eat based upon our Akash, who we used to be and what satisfies our cellular structure the best. Every single one of us has a different diet based upon what works for us. There is no such thing as an enlightened diet except for us. There are missing pieces when these things start to meld. The missing pieces will start to fill in, and we are going to be a lot smarter. We are not from here. We are from the great central sun. It is the heart connection to the max innate is what creates emotion. Our innate knows all about the changes on every cell and innate will serve us. And how it shakes hands with the higher self and knows about the God source in us. These are indeed beautiful times to be alive as we walk softly on this earth in the light of God's name. With divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine sister of the light, Meg Benedict. Leo New Moon Infusion Today. The annual 8-8 Lion's Gate occurs on August 8th during the time of Leo the Lion. It is the time of the year when our planet aligns with the blue star Sirius and the galactic center, creating a harmonious portal that unites matter and antimatter. The powerful energies of the Lion's Gate portal are assisting Gaia through the gateways of time and into higher dimensions that are guarded by the royal Syrian lions of yesterday and tomorrow. From NewEarthCentral.com And from Divine Angel of the Light, Mashubi, A New Era Begins, July 28, 2022, Planet Earth has entered a new chapter in its transformation process. As a result, there will be a number of more significant changes happening now. Some souls will complete their time on Earth and depart, Others will transition to new levels of service. Some have been well prepared for this moment. Others may need to go through a process of adaptation to live with great external uncertainty. Your inner divine compass contains a sacred navigation center that is in your heart. Your heart can guide you at any moment to flow with an adaptation to changing circumstances. Beloved, do not fear the expressions of negative energies that are the result of purification. Find in your heart the confidence and willingness to seek the experience and connection with the new light that is making it possible to free individuals from their shackles. Much can be accomplished by a simple shift of focus toward your eternal divine self, which is love, truth, and oneness with all. From WorldBlessings.net and from Divine Sister of the Light, Suryananda Ayed, the Great Galactic Sun Transcending Bliss Shift with Father and Divine Mother and the Elohim was experienced and received by many on Gaia the 25th and 26th of July 2022. This followed on from the Great Galactic Sun, the Transcending Bliss Epiphany. This continued on from the Holy Grail Shift with Father and Divine Mother and the Elohim, the 25th of July, 2022. This shift began during the 25th of July and into the 26th, when fully received and completed. Transcending bliss being the breath of our existence, taking all to the great central sun, where non-physical forms are from the great central sun, stars, and other worlds. Inevitably, divine consorts having always been and never begun, have always been together in bliss. However, with the great galactic sun transcending bliss shift, this is now taking those on Gaia who have experienced this or who will receive this in times to come as into the bliss of the great galactic sun whilst on Gaia. As shared, the ancient ones merge with the great galactic sun being their sixth higher self on the 22nd of April, 2022. 
the breath of the great galactic sun is an aspect of the life force of the great central sun this being a specific proportion recognizing that a proportion of the life force of the great galactic sun goes a very long way the effect of this is that the great galactic sun transcending bliss shift releases some of the breath of the great galactic sun onto the inhabitants of gaia as they go forward ascending into higher frequencies whilst on gaia thus the breath of the great galactic sun has within its role and path to assist those on gaia to further ascend as gaia herself having reached a specific dimension in essence gaia has had to have reached a specific ascension before the breath of the great galactic sun released a proportion having been predestined for gaia and her inhabitants the breath of the great galactic sun in this aspect now affects those on gaia having been prophesied and long awaited for these times of tremendous upheaval as gaia continues her ascension it is the role of the great galactic sun the third sun of the threefold sun trinity of the great central sun trinity to assist those on gaia once gaia herself obtained a specific place this has now come to fruition after long durations this being a tremendous shift not only for gaia but for all life forms on gaia great excitement has been generated by not only gaia but the great central sun as the great galactic sun and other worlds are once the initial proportion of the breath of the great galactic sun was released on the 25th of july a further proportion was received on gaia on the 26th of july with this second proportion of the breath of the great galactic sun being unprecedented although predestined a significant deeper expansion of consciousness will come into being for many on gaia thus the breath of the great galactic sun aligns specifically with gaia and those on gaia on aspects not prior having been so the assistance of the great galactic sun breath will be of the greatest assistance to gaia and all life on gaia the meaning goes further into divine love thus taking those on gaia deeper into the love of creation as with gaia we continue to ascend into higher frequencies as can be understood this has been a tremendous gift from the great galactic sun whilst as always working with the great central sun the omnipresent omnipotent power of creation existence itself further shifts will be experienced as they continue each having a specific role and path not only for gaia but also where applicable within the great central sun stars and other worlds another major shift was experienced on gaia the twenty seventh of july which will bring into being on gaia further assistance while also being received within the great central sun the great galactic sun spaceship was seen on gaia on the twenty first of april nineteen seventy this was seen as a vast exquisite star very very low as if almost overhead some of the elohim and masters were on board adam el daoud being one of the masters the great galactic sun spaceship was a necessary sighting of light frequencies and energies to pave the way for these present times and from divine sistar of delight aurora ray galactic federation we are very pleased with the progress on earth dear ones i am here to give you an update there are a few things that i want to share with you i want to remind you that you are the ones who have been preparing for this moment for a very long time and even now there are still some preparations that need to be done I'm going to give you some information about the Dark Ones. You'll find that they are becoming more and more desperate. They will do anything in their power to prevent the light from continuing its mission on Earth at this time. As a light worker, it is your job not only to hold the light, but also to call out any of these tricks that might be used against you, against us all. It is going to be challenging in many ways because they have programmed many so deeply with their trickery that it is hard at times to recognize it when it is happening right in front of their face. We are in a time of great transition. It will be hard for some to accept and get used to the new way of life. Many have been programmed through brainwashing and mind control that was done to them over lifetimes. 
The dark forces have used many ways to control humanity. You will feel uncomfortable when confronted with this type of person because your soul knows when something is wrong with them. This can give you a false sense of superiority over others because they are not like you. But simply being compassionate and doing what love would do in every situation will help heal everyone and ultimately the planet of darkness, no matter how deep it runs. There are those who will choose their own path, which does not include living on the new earth. But there are many more who choose light and love, and these are the ones who will be welcomed on the new earth, where all souls will be equal. It is important that you remain grounded, centered, and in your heart. Stay focused on your mission. Do not be distracted. I am with you all the way. You cannot fail. You know this at a soul level. I am here right now and I am holding space for each one of you. I want my energy to flow to you and help stabilize you during these times so that your intuition will be strong and that your discernment will be strong too. The earth is going through her own transformation as is humanity and all of creation. All of you are strong. All of you are wise. You have all been through many battles and much trauma in your lives. It is time to take back your power. You will be given the tools to do this, not all at once, but a little at a time since so much work needs to be done. You are going to be surprised at how much energy you have when you use it properly. There is so much more I would like to tell you, but you will learn as you go along. Remember that I am with you. All of us angels are with you and watching out for each one of you in your own individual situations. You are such amazing souls, and I love you so very much. Know that you are loved and protected. You have nothing to fear. The old earth is crumbling. The evil, the dark forces are trying to hold on to the last bits of control they have. They are panicking because they know their demise is coming. They know they will be wiped out and they will never return. This is a good thing. The earth has reached the point where she can fully transform into her new earth. She is your mother and she is your home, and she has always loved you and supported you as much as she could under the circumstances. All darkness will be pulled out of her being, as well as yours, if you let her help you do this by standing in your own personal power and taking back your sovereignty. You have power now, and it cannot be taken away from you. It is innate knowing that you have always known deep within yourself, and it is coming to the surface now. The earth has been cleansed to such a degree that she is ready for her new energy to begin to take over. The new earth is a place of harmony, peace, and love. It will be welcoming to all who want to live in this way. You are achieving in the light of what I thought would take longer because you are working together as one team. I am very pleased with your efforts on behalf of the Galactic Federation and all of humanity. You have done an excellent job. Many of you had no idea what you were getting yourselves into when you chose to incarnate at this time. But now that you know, you are doing what is necessary to make things better for all of humanity and Mother Earth herself. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the GalacticFederation.com, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, the Unicorns. As we journey to other dimensions, we awaken to many beings. In a recent journey, Pegasus the Unicorn approached, inviting us to visit his unicorn family. As we walked along the illuminated path, we came to a beautiful green meadow and a lake. A majestic group of unicorns were waiting for us. It was the first opportunity for many in the group to be with the unicorns, to run their hands along their manes, to have an eye-to-eye -eye connection, to fill the multidimensional connection to an illuminated being of light. The unicorns offer us strength, guidance, and wisdom. They are wise beings, available to provide energetic support and guidance. Pegasus the Unicorn is a way-shower of the Unicorn Collective, a representative of the Unicorns for Humanity. As our world expands, as the layers become thinner, 
No communication with multidimensional beings is becoming easier, as elemental and devic beings work very closely with Gaia to assist our timeline, our biodiversity. As you continue your own journey work, continue your own healing and integrating to reach your true flow and mission. Simply open your meditation space to the unicorns. Create a space of love and unity. See what will unfold. With love and unicorn blessings from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. This Leo New Moon to the 88 Lion's Gate shows us the way out from low vibing people, places, and experiences as we enter into a new time-space continuum of higher timelines, everlasting life is exposing itself. This is our gift from God that has entered the hemisphere for us to receive now. He is returning us to unconditional love, which is also available to receive and unify with. The new moon foretells the next coming of Christ. Let go and let God have his way. John 6.47 Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Continue moving ahead into the blossoming rebirth that is here with the Leo new moon. You are leading the way in the reunion with the Most High. As you enter into the bridal chamber, you will become one with our Father in heaven. And remember who you are as beloveds. In return, he will become one with you on earth, and enter into the union field with you. From that point forward, you will return to your rightful position as first, first fruits. All galactic ground crew are being given this opportunity now, and shown the rites of passage through the gravitational pull that is taking us as a collective into this new direction. This is where heaven on earth resides, within you and the beloveds. Continue trusting in the process, and release all remaining entities that separate you from this. Mostly this may be felt emotionally, so do what you can to observe and release the suppressed deep layers without judgment. Let the triggers transpire. Be in your power and override the old software system, remembering that they are illusions. You are being freed to love again. True unconditional love, beloveds. Jupiter Retrograde July 28th at 8 degrees Aries through November 23rd at 28 degrees Pisces. This Jupiter retrograde is unique as it begins on the Leo new moon and ends on the Scorpio new moon. These energies are aligning us to action towards our dreams. All that's held us back is releasing quickly. A lot of this will be connected with health, addictions, and mindsets that we will be called to make major lifestyle changes on. The drive to take care of yourself to support your success will increase as these clearings continue during this retrograde. Ascension into higher timelines is quickly occurring. We are expanding, including our flesh vessels and chakra systems. It's imperative that this is a success as our creator is commanding these upgrades continue for us collectively for the evolution of mankind. We are being risen. It's your time to sparkle and shine. Represent yourself as who you really are. Future components of self coming into place. Continue forward as the beloved that you are and that you have come here to be. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Vivian McAuliffe Brown. New Moon in Leo at 5 degrees, 28th of July, 2022, your star power. The New Moon in Leo is an exciting, cosmic rare event, not only taking place on the same day as Jupiter and Aries stations retrograde, and just before Mars, Uranus, and North Node of Fate join together on the 1st of August. But we are also within the Lion's Gate portal that opens every year around July 26th. A powerful energy activated by Sirius, one of the brightest stars, reaching its peak on August 8th, 8-8, and stays open until the middle of August. Your star power is being activated. You are a shining star. Surround yourself with people who support you to shine in your brilliance and not with those who dim your light. 
This combination creates a time that contains tremendous possibility to leap into new ways of being in our lives. It is a zero point of potential, a time out of time, with unknown wild card outcomes and permutations of reality waiting to be seized. New moons are a time of rebirth. The lion's gate energy aligns with the heart center. It's a rebirthing of the Leo qualities within us. Ones of courage, joy, creative expression, and sovereignty. Dare to put yourself in the spotlight. This period marks an immensely significant time that is positive in so many ways. As Jupiter in a positive aspect to the new moon is extra powerful. Because a planet that stations has concentrated energy that we can harness to make positive breakthroughs. Our quality of life can dramatically improve as well as developing our sense of self, self-will, personal power, and feeling proud of who we are. This is heart-opening energy. The sun and moon conjoined in Leo is urging us to explore our hearts and bring warmth and light. We will be infused with the qualities of the fire sign of Leo, which is forceful, magnetic, generous, impulsive, and has a strong and ardent desire to be loved and to give love. Leo is moved through the heart rather than through reason. Like the lion, Leo is commanding, resolute, courageous, and high-spirited, sometimes boastfully asserting his superiority. Leo's warmth and kindness are of the type which a good king has towards his subjects. The spotlight is now focused on those areas of our lives that need more abundance, success, happiness, and joy. This is a cosmic green light to enjoy the good life, to be creative, joyful, and have fun, like the internal inner child within us that Leo represents. Believe in yourself and in your infinite star power and potential. Another major feature of this new moon is that Mercury in Leo makes a tense aspect to Mars, Uranus, and the North Node, encouraging us to stand up for what we believe in. This can signal that we are faced with making an important decision that has a dramatic effect on our lives, a decision that can help to unchain our hearts, a karmic turning point that can help to crown our hopes, dreams, and plans with success. It's a time where we may be faced with releasing whatever isn't serving our highest and best evolution, whether that's toxic relationships, outdated ways of thinking, or self-sabotaging behavior. A reinvention point. The time is now. There is a real drive to make any necessary changes needed so we can achieve our heart's desires. Stay open to whatever opportunities may come your way this month and go with it. Go with everything that excites your soul, even throwing caution to the wind. It could be the beginning of something wonderful. There is so much potential for magical, wonderful surprises this month. We are finally turning the corner and entering a new paradigm, raising our consciousness and vibration with the power of love. From Empower-Astrology.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Elise Leo New Moon Activation Things are heating up with Mercury and the Sun in Leo. We are feeling a sweet trine of Mercury with expansive Jupiter and Aries this week. As we head into the Leo New Moon on Thursday the 28th, the Sun will come into this trine with Jupiter next weekend. There is a feeling of excitement growing about opportunities to come. But with Jupiter turning retrograde this week, we are realizing there are many things we need to organize and address in order to be ready for what is coming. Things are trying to line up in a new way with Uranus coming into a conjunction with the north node of the moon. In Taurus, the new timeline has to do with a new value system and a radical transformation of our relationship with time, physical form, and the earth. We will really be getting activated in new directions. When Mars joins Uranus and the North Node and opposing the South Node starting at this Leo new moon, a new timeline is trying to land, but what do we need to leave behind to make that leap? Venus is coming up to Black Moon Lilith, bringing up deep suppressed emotions around shame and low self-worth. We are facing where we are most vulnerable so we can heal it. This is preparing us for a new chapter and shining our light with the Leo New Moon on Thursday. 
Venus will be in square to Chiron for this new moon. She is claiming her power and everything she needs to fully flourish. The fire energy is demanding that we grab a hold of and celebrate life. Venus in trine to the south node of the moon is supporting us in facing the darkest dark so we can heal our inner feminine. We need to shed light on the lies we have been telling ourselves so the goddess can be reborn within us and come back into the light. Mercury will be in opposition to Saturn and Aquarius for this new moon, pushing us into a new relationship with time. There is no stopping this great awakening. We are tumbling over into the Aquarian Age. From AdrianElise.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. New Moon in Leo, Mercury and Leo square Uranus and Taurus, Jupiter stations retrograde in Aries, the vibrant, colorful new moon forms a trine to stationary Jupiter and conjunction to Ceres. It's akin to a moment in summer standing under the trees, a shaft of light breaking through, bathing your soul, invigorating your spirit. Fruit is ripening, bees lazily collect pollen, nature's perfume wafts on the breeze. Suddenly everything seems possible. There are so many opportunities for growth, so much beauty, so much potential. Brilliant ideas zap the mind, nerve jolting, exciting. We're thinking about everything differently. For some, there may be unexpected news. Be open to a last-minute change of plans. This lunation has strong themes around how important it is to be true to ourselves, even when we must go against the grain to live authentically. The nature of abundance is uniquely bound with recognizing your own divinity. Great sky god Jupiter is prepared to blaze blessings upon those who believe in themselves with humility and grace. Have faith in your talents. Spread joy where you can. Be as excited for the inner journey as for the outer journey. Seed an intention to create more of what you love in your life. Lead with courage. From NeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 71, Blue Rhythmic Monkey. Rhythmic is the name for the number 6 and its keywords are balance, organize, and equalize. The number 6 is all about restoring balance in your life. It is a necessary process as we all seem to have a tendency to wobble too much in one direction or the other, leaving us a bit disoriented. Rhythmic days essentially are about taking care of these important things so you can reconfigure your energy. Today, make a list and organize your life as you can't progress effectively until you do so anyway. Today is Blue Monkey which represents magic, illusion, and play. How on earth do you organize the monkey? Ha, monkey will mess with your head today if you do not address practical matters. Why wouldn't you want to get things done and rebalance yourself? If you avoid these things, monkey will catch you out. If you choose the wrong course of action, things will not turn out well. The most important thing to remember is that monkey isn't only trying to show you the right way for your own good. This practical monkey is better behaved than most as he is more balanced. Today is guided by monkey too, so it is a double helping of this message. When it's a double monkey day, anything can happen, but don't panic. A monkey day can be guided by either blue hand, blue storm, blue knight, or blue eagle. When he is guided by himself, he is not influenced by these other energies. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Rhythmic Monkey, 6. Chuain, Keen 71, 28th of July, 2022, Organizing for Magical Play. 28, 7, 2022, equal 10, 7, 6, equal 1, 13, equal 1, 4, equal 5. Day Codes, 28, Success, Planning for the Future. 10, Manifestation, Authority, Power. 1, New Beginnings, Leader, Original, Independent. 5. Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Month Year Codes, 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation, 13. Cosmic Consciousness, Natural Lore, Goddess, Mysteries, 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic, 
20 the awakening clear vision 22 architect of peace master builder keen 71 equal 8 abundance infinity source flow another divinely magical day with the force of love abundantly flowing new moon in leo the grand rising of the new earth sovereigns day six in the white world bridger wave spell of surrender letting go forgiveness networking and building bridges today is the day to organize our physical reality to find balance through the magic of play world bridger leads us from a world of imbalance to a beautiful alternative new world of wonder and joy filled with love beauty harmony and greater balance play 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 is the order of the day white magic and play the best combination tone of creation rhythmic tone six in the physical realm action balances power organizes essence equality the rhythmic phase is the one where this all adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk but consciously precisely with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running go forth and explore your territory today is a day to find balance in the physical body by playing by pushing the edges of what may be possible to see that so much more bliss is possible beyond the realm of this illusionary existence Today's question is how can I add more play in my day in order to organize for more balance and equality in my life? Does my environment enhance my creativity and joy factor? Divine blessings for muchos magic fun and delightful merriment today. Better get used to it folks, bliss is on its way. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 71, Blue Rhythmic Monkey. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to play, balancing illusion. I seal the process of magic with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now, I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Emily Jones, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support us with a monthly pledge, you can do so on our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com or if you'd like to support our work mission in this channel with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd also like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, Muhammad Kasim, for another donation. Super thanks donation on YouTube. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Lucas M., for your super thanks donation today also. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful prayer, healing practice, and sacred intentions from Divine Sistar of the Light, Angelic Jeanette Shihura. Leo New Moon and Galactic New Year blessings, beloveds. Today is your day to shine. Today is the day to celebrate you. Today we are encouraged to step center stage into Leo Light. 
Leo is governed by the sun and this powerful solar Christed light, combined with the superluminal light of the new moon, bring forth the frequency, codes of purpose, passion, power, courage, commitment, creativity, love, warmth, abundance, and positivity. Everything is magnified and illuminated under Leo light, and it's important to love, honor, nurture, and respect self through all that arises during this amazing period of higher light. Now is the time to release density, ever expanding the portals of divine love within your heart. Now is the time to open to the light of higher consciousness. Now is the time to shine your light in your full multidimensional splendor and glory. Connecting with the power of the moon and the sun will greatly assist you in healing and raising your vibration at this time. Quick practice to check in with self, raise your vibration and realign. Ask yourself the question, what does my heart desire or what does my heart need at this time? Take a long deep breath in through your nose, send the air to the bottom of your belly and hold, and then release through your mouth. Tune in with your heart and ask the question, Dear beloved heart, what do I need at this time? Or dear beloved heart, what do you desire at this time? Trust your intuition as you receive the answer. This can come in form of words, thoughts, feelings, emotions, pictures, and symbols. Trust is key, for you can trust your heart as it will always lead you to your highest good. Super quick ritual to set your intentions. After following the above practice, journal your heart and soul's desires. What action can you take? What is the next step forwards to fulfill your soul's desires? You may wish to meditate upon this. Journal all that arises over the next three days, including during dream state. Don't force, just allow. Place your favorite manifesting crystal or crystals outside in the moonlight and after two to three hours or in the morning, place your moon-activated crystals on top of your intentions to help activate your desires. Moon Water Activate purified water and moonlight for two to three hours or all night. You may wish to place your crystals in your water. Stick to the quartz family if you are not familiar with the properties of crystals. That is clear quartz, rose quartz, citrine. Fill your water with blessings of love and gratitude and drink it, enjoying the high vibrational frequencies. You may wish to place some of your moon-activated water upon your altar, share with your pet, your favorite plant. A quick healing practice. You may wish to call in your angels to assist you with this. That is Archangel Raphael. Close your eyes and visualize the power of the moon shining down upon you, filling you up inside and out with bright sparkly diamond light. Breathe it into your heart center and feel this powerful frequency of higher light within you. Visualize the power of the great central sun shining down upon you, filling you up inside and out with golden sparkly light. Breathe it into your heart center and feel this powerful frequency and source of higher light within you. Relax, feeling calm and peaceful, and just be for a few minutes. Gentle message of love. There's nothing to worry about. You are moving through a period of growth towards your desired outcome. Be kind and gentle with self. All is well. Wishing you a beautiful, blessed, and love-filled journey through the new moon and Lion's Gate portal. In love, we rise as one. From angelicascension.co.uk Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful new moon in Leo. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.